Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to walk through the process of inserting blueprints into SolidWorks. Now, to get started, we need to create a new design. I'm going to be using a metric template and say OK. We need to begin by selecting a sketch plane and starting a new sketch. I'm going to be using the S shortcut key and start to type in sketch picture. Now, if you use this constantly, you may want to use the plus icon to simply add it to your toolbar or you can find it in other locations, but this is probably the easiest way. I'm going to select the image to insert, an FDRX7, one of the best looking cars to come out of Japan, and then we see this blue bar. Now, this is on by default, and it's called the Scale Tool. This Scale Tool allows us to put a dimension to that bar, and it'll scale the rest of the image. With an FDRX7, I'm going to go with the wheelbase, and once I'm happy with its location, I can enter a value. Now let's say I don't know what this is in metric units, but I know that it's 95.5 inches. All I need to do is type in IN and it's gonna scale the image for me. Once we have this scaled, it's also important that we move this around relative to our planes. Now, if you don't have any planes turned on, you can always go ahead and take a look at the little icon that's listed for X and Y. I'm gonna to go to a side view, which is control and four. And I'm gonna simply pull this image up so that it's located exactly under my front wheel, and that'll be my ground plane. I didn't do anything with the transparency of this image, but we're gonna take care of that when we add a second image. So once again, we're gonna start a new sketch, this time on the top plane, S key, and now I've got my sketch picture tool. I'm gonna to select a top image of, once again, the FDRX7. And once this image comes in, if I rotate my view slightly, note that it's 90 degrees off, so I'm going to change the angle and the scale is also off. Now with the top down image, we don't necessarily see the wheels. So it would be hard for us to get the wheelbase. You could use an overall width. And if your image actually has some dimensions to it, you can do that. We can also manually scale this. Now, what I would suggest first is get the coordinate system to be in the right location. So again, we placed it under that front wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I want to find roughly where the front wheel is and then pull this over to the center. It doesn't have to be perfect for right now because we are going to have to move this image a little bit more. I'm going to rotate my view slightly, zoom out, and I'm going to begin scaling this using this center location. The reason for that is because it will scale with the aspect ratio locked, but it's going to scale with the opposing point. And what I mean by that is if I grab this left corner, it's going to scale relative to this upper right corner. And that's not what we want. We want this to stay roughly in the right location. This can be a tricky task, so make sure that you do plan accordingly. A lot of times when you find blueprints, there will be references on those images. And if you have those, sometimes that's very helpful to keep. Now, for this image, I want to make sure that I talk about transparency. We're going to use full image and set it at about 50%. That way we can see through the image. So if I rotate this around, we can see up through the bottom and see that side image if we want. Now, whether or not you use transparency is up to you. For a side view and a top view, you generally don't need it. For a front and a back view, it's certainly helpful to have. This is the same process. We just need to repeat it with whatever blueprint images we have. And it's always a good idea at the end to make sure that you do relabel these. So top view and my side view. And that's the basic process for inserting sketch blueprints inside of SolidWorks. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.